Today I've got with us uh, Tristan from Netgear. He's here to talk about 10 gigabit connectivity across the ProSafe range of switches. Tristan, 10 gigabit connectivity has been around for a long time now, but why is it suddenly becoming such a great big topic? There are a number of reasons. I'd probably pick three. The first is around mobile devices. Generally, the adoption of uh, mobile devices such as tablets is on the increase, as we all know. That is essentially pushing more traffic across the network. People want access to the network irrespective of the device 24-7. So that's the first thing. The second thing is data itself. Uh, depending on who you talk to, data is da doubling every two years. Um, when you see data doubling at that sort of rate, it's got all sorts of implications on the network generally. And then the third area is obviously storage and server virtualization, which is still a hot topic for many organizations. You've got a concentration all of a sudden on a smaller footprint of technology, and that has got to be supported by the right performance. So speed becomes critical, and that's where 10 gig becomes critical. So 10 gigabit copper rather than fiber seems to be the pathway into 10 gigabit switching. Why would that be, Tristan? Uh, there are a number of reasons. I think if you look at 10 gig copper um, in terms of when it was ratified, which was 2006, several years later the adoption of 10 gig copper has been rather slow. Uh, it's really been about breaking down the barriers to adoption and probably two key areas have been around power consumption and latency. If I look at the first area of power consumption, we've got power down to comparable levels of fibre solutions. So historically where you may have seen reference to 10 watts per port on copper versus say 1 watt per um, fibre type uh, port, um, we've got these down to more acceptable levels. The second area is around latency. So if you look at latency, I think unless you're someone like the New York Stock Exchange or you've got automated trades, then latency really isn't going to be an issue for the majority of users out there in applications. 10 gig copper will fill that space and it will fill it very well. So in what way are Netgear introducing 10 gigabit switching into their product range? Well, in January 2013, we launched three brand new products to market. Uh, they're 10 gigabit copper switches. They are in the lightly managed, the smart managed, and the fully managed category. Uh, Netgear, the only vendor currently, globally, that provide a 10 gigabit copper solution across all three spaces. Traditionally, if you wanted 10 gigabit copper, you'd invariably have to buy a fully managed solution. So straight away, we're bringing 10 gigabit copper to the masses. So what applications or scenarios are well suited to 10 gigabit connectivity? 10 gigabit connectivity is going to be suited to a number of scenarios. Um, Predominantly, it's been the preserve of data centers. Large enterprises have been employing them in data centers. Uh, but as you, as you essentially introduce 10 gig copper to small and medium businesses, there's no reason why they can't deploy 10 gigabit smart solutions at the core of their network. So it can be top of rack for a larger enterprise. It can be core for a small enterprise. It can also support aggregation and access layer connectivity. So Tristan, is 10 gigabit copper switching really within reach of SMBs on a tight budget? Absolutely. If you look at historical prices, 10 gigabit copper switching might have been around £300 per port. We're talking about bringing those prices right down. So if I think of our entry-level ProSafe Plus model, which is the XS708E, that is an 8-port 10 gigabit copper switch. And you're talking about prices of around £80 per port. Um, compared with fibre solutions, this is a drastic change. Therefore, it's well within the reach of SMBs. It's no longer the preserve of the larger enterprise. It's suited for the masses. Thanks, Tristan. Hope you all found that really interesting. If you require more information, please visit our website or ring into one of our account managers.